and in comes a flying, dirty, bloody tampon. What do I do now? Hey guys, it's Sharon. Ladies and my fellas, if you guys like watching these videos, it is that time of the month again. And sadly, it is not a time of the month that we necessarily enjoy, but you know, it's life. If you didn't know, maybe it's not going on in your life yet. Girls bleed once a month. It's called a period and it sucks and we like to talk about how much it sucks once a month on this channel. So welcome to Period Horror Stories, the first one of 2020. How exciting. That's the only exciting part about getting your period, period horror stories. Although there is one thing to be very excited about. I have a giveaway going on at the end of this video. So that's gonna be fun. And I do announce, I guess right now, that I will be doing a giveaway once a month at the end of every month this year. So that being said, make sure you're watching my videos, make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up and also make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you can be in my videos and so you can know when those giveaways are happening and so you can have bonus entries. Y'all know the drill, I asked you for your worst period horror stories and this one is themed at school. So these are actually your worst accidents and mishaps that have happened at school. So it's already embarrassing and mortifying and now they're happening at school and it's double the embarrassment, double the mortification. Is that how you say it? I don't know, whatever. Grab your tea and your heat pads and let's do this. We have a teacher who has a coffee maker in my grade for students to use in her classroom. While she was making coffee for herself, a student snuck in and put a used tampon in the top. This teacher drank the entire pot of coffee and didn't realize until she went to use it the next day. I would die, not to be dramatic. I would quit. I am never teaching ever again. I'm never looking at another school ever again, let alone another Another girl in the face again? Why would anyone in their right mind think of doing this? I feel like only Satan himself would think of doing something like this. And Satan doesn't even bleed once a month. I'm this this wins. This is officially the nastiest period horror story I've ever heard in my life. And that's on that. Period. Pun intended. I'm gonna throw up already. I was in PE and I was running a mile and all of a sudden blood was dripping down my leg and then the person behind me slipped over it and banged his head and the teacher thought his was bleeding but it was just my blood the whole time you know what I understand this is mortifying but on the bright side at least no one knows that it was you leaking and everyone thinks it was the kid who slipped and busted his head so in reality you kind of got the situation covered the only thing that sucks is the guy knows and you know really it's up to the guy if he you know regains conscious and lets everyone else know but other than that I mean sounds like you got lucky the guy didn't but this ain't about him I thought it was ketchup why would there be ketchup coming out of your body from down there. I bled on the chair and I told my teacher I spilled on the chair. He went over and licked it thinking I was eating and spilt ketchup. Then he gave me a detention. Hold up. Why? I Is he okay? One of my students, if I was a teacher, they tell me, hey, dude, I spilled something on my chair. My first action is not lick. Why, why would I do that? What if they spilled something in like chemistry class and it's like some poison that could kill me? Now I tasted period blood because I just wanted to taste some suspicious liquids because apparently I'm an imbecile. Sorry, teacher, but you're not the brightest of teachers. And then homeboy gives this girl detention? It's not my fault you're stupid. Ugh, give yourself detention to think about what you just did, not me. Ew. I had a bag of tampons and pads in my locker and my boyfriend found out my locker combo and got into the bag. He started yelling and screaming around the hall, then broke up with me. Why? I mean, if we're gonna get into stereotypes, it sounds like someone what else is on their period? Am I the one who needs the pads and the tampons? Or do you? Why are you all moody and acting up? What was he expecting out of this? Like, oh my gosh, you're a girl and you're bleeding? How dare you? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather me not be bleeding and be pregnant? That is the weirdest reason to break up with someone. But sis, you did not dodge a bullet. You dodged a full blown cannon. I wore this all white outfit for the first day of senior year. I got up to use the bathroom and the teacher said, Miss Williams, red doesn't go with white. I suggest you use a pad instead of your pants, sweetie. I would have. I can't say fight this teacher because you know we need to calm down. Violence is not the answer. So I would have reported this teacher without hesitation. Reported it to her boss, her boss's boss, her boss's boss's boss. Are you kidding me? And the fact that 
that this teacher is a girl. Sis, don't act like you don't bleed either. There is no excuse. There never will be. If you're a girl and you're making fun for another girl getting her period, you are the worst type of girl to ever exist. And that's the tea. Not about me, but when I was in the bathroom, I saw a girl drop a tampon on the floor and she said, and I, oop, and this girl is a visco girl. Skis, 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 skis. How are visco girls? Do you guys still exist? Are you okay? Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I was on a school trip and someone threw their dirty tampon into my shower cubicle. Why? When I take out a tampon, my first thoughts aren't, let me put this in a coffee maker or let me throw this into someone's shower. Can you just imagine you're taking a shower, you know, because you want to feel clean. And in comes a flying, dirty, bloody tampon. What do I do now? I can't even shower myself because my shower has been contaminated. Sometimes I feel like there's just no hope for some people, you know. I was sitting in class. We had a break, so I got on my friend's back and I leaked through my pants and it got on her back and nobody told her because they were scared. So the whole day she had my blood on her shirt. I feel like I understand both sides. Like if I was the friend and I bled on someone, I would be so mortified and I wouldn't want to tell them. But if I was the friend and I got bled on, I would want to know I got blood on me. You know, it's okay for me because like I have like long hair and like I could cover that up. Maybe like you could give this friend like a wig, you know, if it happens again in the future. But yikes, what would you guys do? Would y'all tell your friend that you bled on them? That's the real question. I bled on the school pet. How and why? Where is the school pet that you are able to bleed on it? Is a school pet's like cage container thing just on the floor? Did you just stand over the school pet's cage glass container thing and just bleed on it? Were you wearing a skirt? Is that how your blood fell through? Did you just wring your... I have so many questions and you know, quite frankly, I don't think I want to know the answers anymore, guys. I was in class and I had just got into an argument with my teacher and right out of the blue, my boyfriend said I was PMSing in the front of the whole class and I got picked on the rest of the year, so I dumped him. Good for you. If a man, any man, I don't care who it is, if anyone actually came up to me while I'm having a disagreement and said I was PMSing, I wasn't PMSing before, but I'll start PMSing now just for you. That's like when someone tells you to chill and you are chill, but then you're like, I am chill. Do you want me to not get chill anymore? Because I'll do it for you. That's how I feel about the situation. And you know what? You didn't need him, sis, and he don't deserve you, so... <laughs> That's the tea. I was in gym and my pad fell out of my underwear and got stuck to my leg. I had to do the rest of PE with it while we were running. How does this happen? Pads stick to your underwear. I don't understand. And I feel like if in some weird situation this somehow happened to me, honestly, while I'm running, I'll yank that thing off my leg and I'll chuck it. I don't care where it lands. I ain't running with no pad on my leg. That's just embarrassing. I just, what? I don't know. I mean, have y'all's pads come off like this? Sis, you need to buy better pads. I'm concerned for the quality of pads you're buying. For my 10th birthday, my sister got me loads of bottles of paint because I love painting. The red one was the only one that looked different. It was very thin and runny. My sister took the red paint bottle from me and told my parents what was in the bottle. Turns out my sister collects her period blood. Why? I feel like I have asked that in this video so many times. Just why? Why do you collect your period blood? And what are you planning to do with your period? period blood. I feel like that's the scarier part. Like, are you trying to like summon the devil? Do a sacrifice? I don't know. Are you like a vampire? Are you drinking it? You know what? I actually, I don't want to know the answer to this either. I don't look at my period blood and I'm like, let me collect this and save this. Maybe that's just me. Um, feeling a little sick to my stomach currently. A boy in my class was walking really close to my butt and I mean really close. I told him to back off and they told me there was an emergency because I had leaked. It was my first time getting my period. So I didn't know what he meant. I punched him and I saw loads of blood and I was suspended because I knocked him out. Lesson learned, maybe if a guy is walking really close to your butt, maybe he's not being a Joey and trying to be gross and nasty with you. Maybe he's doing you a solid and hiding your blood stain. Next time, you know, I would maybe ask the person instead of just punching them and knocking them out. Poor guy. He was really looking out for home, sis. And then he got knocked out for it. Our fallen soldier. I hope he's okay. I was sitting in class and I was very lucky that I got my crush to sit next to me. I guess I started my period and bled onto the chair because he looked at my pants, screamed blood, and fainted. Men are so 
week. <laughs> I love when people are afraid of blood because it's like, I feel like for girls, we just look at blood now and we're just like, nothing. I am unfazed. That does nothing to me. Which is why I feel like girls could easily get away with murder. We know how to handle blood, get rid of blood stains. Blood doesn't scare us. Girls are the superior gender. And this is a great example of it. Homeboy literally fainted. Imagine I fainted every time I saw blood. I would be passed out for a whole week. I would just be blacked out a whole week of my life every single month. My best friend is in cross country. And when she was in her last race of the season, she lost both shoes while running. She happened to also have a period leak at the same time. So she ran one fourth of a mile barefoot with blood dripping down her leg. Proves my point. You think my period's gonna stop me? You think a little blood and a missing shoe is gonna stop me? Oh, honey, you have no idea. I bled all down my leg in gym class during volleyball. It was so bad, someone slipped in and fell. I understand how mortifying it is to like leak in front of people, but also imagine how mortifying it is to be the person to fall into someone else's period blood. Now that is when I might faint when seeing blood. And it's not because I saw blood, it's because I fell into someone else's blood. Oh God, I would take like 12 showers. Ew. But you know what? What if it was someone on the opposite team and then my team won because they slipped in my blood? Then I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to win, but that's not the point. I asked my female teacher if I could go to the bathroom. She clearly saw the blood on my leg, but she didn't let me go and excused me of trying to get out of class. You've gotta be kidding me. Where do you think this blood on my leg came from, sis? I feel like if someone is going that far to put fake blood on their leg just to get out of class, I feel like if I was a teacher, I would let them out of class. Like, obviously you are working so hard to really get out of class, do it. But really, this is a female teacher. I'm bleeding, you see it, let me out. Problem solved, but no. Ladies, fellas watching this, if you ever grow up to be a teacher, don't be this person. Every month when I have to sit through these stories and read these stories, I'm just so grateful that I'm no longer in school so these can't happen to me while at school, but it can still happen to me anywhere in general. And then that's when it starts to suck about like being a girl, but you know, it's life. The circle of life. Thank you mother nature for hating us so much. It's fine. We make the best of it. It's totally okay. I've been thinking of doing some period life hack videos and period tips videos and just like girl talk hygiene videos. If you guys do want to see those, let me know in the comments below and give us a big, big thumbs up. Shout of the week goes to Dakota and you are Dakota on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you guys do want to be shout of the week, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And now of course, I know what you're thinking. Okay, sis, where's that giveaway you mentioned at the end of the video? I'm getting there. I got you. So for this month, I'm doing a kind of like a little bit of a self-care pack. The winner will be getting this little cute makeup bag that you can also put like your period goodies in here. It says more self-love, which is true. More self-love 2020. Love and support that. We also got this sleep mask that says sweet dreams. We got some lip balm, strawberry flavored, some face mask because that skin needs to look popping. Some socks so we can be warm and cozy and comfy. This is actually really cool and it caught my attention. They're shower steamers. No idea, but it sounds very relaxing and I feel like that's what we need. Lastly, some face serum because I don't know about y'all, but my face really likes to act up when I'm on a period. So if you want to win this giveaway, short, simple rules. All you got to do is be subscribed to this channel. I want you to comment down a strawberry emoji. And if you don't have a strawberry emoji, just comment hashtag strawberry. And for bonus entries, follow me on my Instagram and there will most likely be an Instagram post where you can comment for more bonus entries. So I'm very excited. And these will be happening once a month for the rest of the year. So love that. If you want to see more and you want more chances and more giveaways, definitely subscribe for more. But enough about that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.